Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video and today I want to try something a little bit different and from my last video I posted out the 80 plus face off takers uh, something piqued my interest that I thought I would test out in this video and that was the Manny Malhotra item and I'll show you guys right now in the sets uh, how to get him but what you have to do is you have to do the draft champions and for basically every win you get you get one draft collectible and if you get say a certain amount of collectibles you can trade them in and get certain players so you can see here you can get an 88 overall Manny Malhotra for 50 draft collectibles and you can probably get uh, and you can get not probably you can get a 92 overall Manny Malhotra item for 100 draft collectibles and I kind of want to test out how long it would actually take to get this item because 92 overall Manny Malhotra has 97 face-offs uh, face-off rating which is the highest in the game two points higher than the base card of Patrice Bergeron I thought that was a little bit interesting because maybe that is a possible item that I would want on my team even though they are non-tradable and you can't sell them on the marketplace so you can also get the 88 overall Manny Malhotra item and although it's four points lower than the 92 overall version it still has 95 face-offs from what I checked uh, in the collection so I thought it would be kind of interesting just to see how long it would take to get each item so I'm gonna show you guys right now uh, how to get these draft collectibles and how long it actually takes to get you one of these and uh, I'm probably gonna show you on screen that I was trying to do uh, the draft champions and basically what you have to do is you have to build the team and then you want to play uh, your four games and you want to win them so you have a choice of playing offline or online mode and honestly there's no reason to play online if you want to you know if you're just going to grind out for that many Malhotra item you probably don't want to be facing people online because you're going to be um, you know you might lose some games here and there and if you want a guaranteed like 100% success rate of winning each game then you want to play the offline mode and if you lose a game in draft champions you do not get a draft collectible which is the whole point of doing this so you want to win every single game and you want to draft your best team so basically it takes about two or three minutes to draft your team and then I pretty much played out four games in order to uh, get those draft collectibles. And the only way you can claim your draft collectibles is you have to play the full four games out in, before you can get your draft collectibles. If you uh, st if you just end your tournament like three games in and you don't want to play anymore, then uh, you won't get your draft collectibles. So you have to play uh, all four games to get them. And uh, I'll show you right here that I am playing some of the games. I have won all of them. And then you'll see here that I, I've now claimed, uh, you know, the draft uh, champions uh, collectibles. So yeah, I pretty much claimed the reward, and I did a small little calculation here. So I won four games, and it took me exactly 91 minutes to get those four collectibles. You can see here, I'm going to open up the pack right now just to show you that I do get the four draft collectibles. And uh, let's just skip the animation. There you go. They're all non-tradable. That's... I was trying to look for them in the marketplace and you can't actually buy draft collectibles which is kind of stupid because you don't get any like coin reward for winning these games but there are some uh, um, you know rewards from the sets that you can complete to get some different rewards that give you coins in this game so I'll send those all to the collection and I will open up a pack or something like that I think there is a player pack in there but uh, like I said it took me 91 minutes to get those four collectible that's an hour and 31 minutes and I pretty much broke this down so uh, if you want to get the 88 Manny Malhotra item it's going to take you about 18.959 hours or that's just about 18 hours and 57 minutes of just grinding out draft champions ragging the puck against the AI and uh, just to get that 88 overall Manny Malhotra item if you want to get the 92 version that's double the time to get the 88 version you're gonna have to spend 37 hours and about 55 minutes as well just to get that item so it really is up to you whether or not you want to grind it I mean for the most part it was really easy because I was pretty much just watching like um, the World Cup of Hockey games and I was just kind of playing it in the background not actually paying attention I would score like four or five goals paying attention and then just let the AI do whatever clean the A button on the transitions and uh, yeah it took about uh, 91 minutes to get those four collectibles and like I said I already did those calculations so there's some other rewards as well you can see here uh, you, you can tr uh, trade in two draft collectibles for an untradeable gold player that could be common or rare uh, you can trade in two draft collectibles for a small quick sell item worth 100,000 coins I mean that, it, it really is not worth doing that you might as well just be playing hot games if you want to do that you can trade in 10 for a gold pack honestly that's kind of garbage and trade in 15 draft collectibles for a large quick sell item worth about 10,000 
uh, coin. So there's not, you really don't want to do any of these, maybe except for the draft gold player reward pack. At least you might get something good. So uh, I, I will complete this set and I'll show you guys um, if you get anything good from them. Because you never know, maybe you'll get uh, a rare player and you can get something good. So I'll complete that set. I'll complete both of them because I highly doubt I'm going to be doing the Manny Malhotra items. Just because I do not want to grind out 37 hours and 55 minutes worth. Or, you know, to get the 88 version, 18 hours worth. Which is a little bit more reasonable, but still... Uh, I just don't have that time on me, and I'll rather just show you if you can get anything good from these packs anyway. So, let's go ahead and go into our um, pa unopened packs list. We'll open those packs up, and we'll see if we can get anything good there. Uh, but yeah, for sure, some of you guys will probably do it. I know some of you guys want the highest overall uh, centerman in the game. Although you cannot trade him, at least you can have him on your team. So, let's get this pack opened up, see if we get anything good, and we're going to get a Troy Brower. I, I don't think you can sell him. Let, let, let me just see if I, you can sell him. I, I don't know why you couldn't sell him before, but it, it said from the the description that it was untradeable. Am, am I not wrong? Or I don't know. Maybe I read that wrong. But Troy Brower already have. I'm pretty much just gonna quick. Uh, I'll send it to the collection. Whatever. I'll probably just add him to the team and then maybe use him to get some coins or whatever. But let's open up the other pack here. And uh, I mean, you got an 85 overall for playing two games. And then you got a Colton Sissons. And I did see some, like, other people pull, like, 87 or 88 overall pulls. But from what I can think of, if you want to take the risk, I guess you can. I mean, at least they're sellable items. And uh, you can make some coins off it. You could get lucky. So it really is up to you. I just kind of want to test out in this video whether it is worth doing the Manny Malhotra item. And you guys can decide for yourselves if you want to do it or not. And it, this was just kind of my little test on seeing if it actually works. So that is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you found this kind of video type of in, type of video interesting. If there's any other things you want me to test, feel free to leave in the comment box below. But that's just about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.